Dear GCM family, this is Pastor Ben, and this video is going out on Wednesday, December the 23rd, starting at 5 o'clock tonight. We will have dinner served in the Fellowship Hall. Tonight served for dinner is goulash, along with mixed vegetables, roll, and dessert. Bread and desserts, of course, are available for take-home as well. And service tonight begins at 6.30 in the sanctuary. We have distanced seating available as well as outside seating. All right, five minutes for your faith. We have some breaking news. When you hear that phrase, breaking news, especially in the year 2020, it seems it's usually not a good announcement that's going to follow. However, the breaking news that I'm talking about comes to us from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2 where an angel appeared unto the shepherds and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. It shall be unto all people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. You know, I call it breaking news because when you read the Old Testament scriptures, Genesis through Malachi, and then when you pick up the New Testament Gospels with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in your Bibles, there's no gap in the pages between the Old Testament and New Testament, but there was 400 years, basically, uh, chronological time between Malachi and Matthew, or between the Old Testament and the New Testament accounts. That means for 400 years, not that God wasn't doing things in the world, God is always at charge and God is always at work, but there's no scripture recording God was silent in very many ways, or so it would seem. But then after 400 years of there being nothing recorded in Scripture, then it seems like there's angelic visitations everywhere. Uh, Zechariah, the dad of John the Baptist, gets an angelic visitation telling him that John the Baptist is going to be born to him and his wife Elizabeth, who had been barren, both they, and they were older in age. And a miracle would take place where she would be able to give birth. You have angel appearing unto Mary, telling her she was going to bear a son. You have the angel appearing unto Joseph to let him know that it was okay to take Mary as his wife, for indeed the child was going to be the son of God. And then you have, of course, here the angel appearing unto the shepherds on the hillside, telling them this breaking news that broke out in the middle of the night as they were minding their own business. It said, fear not, fear not. You know, for those who... Uh, for lack of a better phrase, encounter God, you look throughout scripture, their immediate response when man comes into contact with God or when God visits man in some special kind of way was not one of delight or of joy, it was one of abject fear, uh, even terror. Why? Because sinful man is coming into contact with holy God and there's bound to be fear. And yet God, for those who will come to Christ, for those who will be in Christ, God will say unto us, Fear not. Indeed, in this world we have trouble, but we need not fear, for he has overcome the world, he being Christ, of course. And for those who are in Christ, we need not fear. And uh, Scripture will give that command to believers over 300 times in Scripture to fear not. For behold, said the angel, behold, I tell you, in our current day and age, uh, perhaps more so than any other, we don't really behold Things. We may see things, we may hear things, but to behold something means to pay attention, give it your full attention, focus in. We, uh, particularly in our day and time, tend to have one eye on the TV and one eye on the computer and one eye on the phone, and before you know it, you run out of eyes, right? We have one ear focused upon the radio and one ear focused upon the uh, uh our phone and one ear focused upon the TV. And again, we run out of ear. We don't really take the time to behold something. I encourage you to, as the angel told the shepherds, to behold, pay attention to what the angel was going to say. Pay attention to scripture. Behold, take time to be with the Lord in prayer. Take time to behold the promises of God. The angel said, fear not for behold, I bring you. Let's not miss that. I bring you. Mankind could not earn a visitation from God. The shepherd certainly did not. Mankind could not earn a savior. We could not call down the Messiah from heaven. In fact, scripture will record who's going to go up into heaven and pull Christ down. If Jesus had not wanted to come, if it had not been the 
the plan of the Godhead from before the foundation of the world. We did not earn Christ. We couldn't bring Christ down. There's no amount of goodness in us that would bring him down. There's no amount of power in us that could force him to do it. But the message of salvation was brought. Jesus came down and he laid down his life of his own accord for no man took his life from him. But he laid it down. He had the power to lay it down and to bring it back up again. And aren't you thankful that Jesus, the message of salvation, the person that could purchase our salvation came down. Heaven brings to us the good news. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For those who know our precious boy, I will tell you, he is uh, such a blessing in so many ways. But one way is this, our boy Benji, he knows genuine joy. You know, this world oftentimes, even if something good or something wonderful will happen, uh, it's just kind of like blah, or maybe a smile. Uh, but I tell you, our boy, when it is something happens that he takes as wonderful, even if it seems to be something small, and some of you have seen that, he will light up with joy. I tell you, for those who are believers, whatever be the situation of the world, at large or of our world on a personal level. If you are in Christ, then you know that the main thing has been taken care of. And by that, I mean our sins have been forgiven if indeed we've repented of them and put trust in Christ, the only Savior. And those are good tidings of great joy that's found in Christ and in Christ. So I pray this breaking news has been a blessing unto you. The full messages from this past uh, Sunday morning is available on this same YouTube channel. And I, if I have not opportunity to speak to some of you before then, I pray that you and your family have a blessed Christmas, remembering the Savior's birth and how indeed good tidings of great joy were brought to us from heaven above in the person of Christ being born, living a perfect life, dying upon the cross, a sacrificial death. For you and for me, rise it again with power over death, hell, and the grave, which he is willing to extend to all who believe. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. May you know it is the hope of your God of God in Christ Jesus and the surpassing greatness of his power extended to all who believe. Amen and amen.